Hello. Uh, this year, Applied Neuroscience is proud to be a gold sponsor at the ISNR virtual conference starting on July 31st, 2020. This is a quick overview of NeuroGuide. It's a software program uh, by Applied Neuroscience that allows you to scan through uh, EEG manually, import EEG from 45 different amplifiers uh, that you can see is a list here. Right now we're in the demo mode that you go to by clicking help, enter demo mode, or those who want the free access to the demo, that's available on the Applied Neuroscience website at www.appliedneuroscience.com. So I've opened up this lexicor uh, acquired EEG data from a 55-year-old individual who was struck in the right parietal lobe by a bat. He was assaulted, and uh, I brought the data in after I make selections, which I have done uh, using the edit uh, key here uh, under automatic selections, you can select by hand just by uh, just selecting artifact free sections, or you can use the uh, a comparison to a joint time frequency analysis instantaneous normative database. I started at zero seconds and, I, and, and I, uh, I'm getting two uh, minutes of data, but you can determine your start stop time and the duration of selections you wish. There's automatic deletion of drowsiness, eye movement artifact, and muscle. If that doesn't work for whatever reason, you can create a 10 second template and then uh, use that. This, all of this has been covered in detail in other videos. And I'm gonna just uh, quickly uh, clear it and then show how fast that is to uh, create um, now one minute and 59 seconds of EEG which you can then use the keys to uh, scan down on uh, and uh, to page up and page down. You can go to the end, you can go backwards, you can go to the home, and as I showed earlier, you can scan to make sure that there's no artifacts selected, at which time you can then compare it to a normative database by clicking uh, a dynamic FFT, absolute power, relative power, amplitude spectrum, et cetera. I'm gonna look at the power spectrum. You can change your uh, polarity of the EEG traces. You can uh, uh, change the colors of your traces. You can change the intensity of the color of the grids that you can see those vertical lines in the, uh, in the, the visual display. You can change the intensity of the edit uh, uh, selections, which are you've seen here in the, the pink. And this is conventional EEG to the left here, and this is quantitative EEG to the right. So the theme is both conventional EEG and quantitative EEG on the same screen at the same time. So this allows you to go back and forth between the two to verify one supported as the, uh, of the other. This is the standard procedure to make sure you do not have artifact and to be able to isolate particular events with different montages. Here's a Laplacian montage, for example, that helps for focal events, uh, similar to longitudinal uh, bipolar uh, and average reference. So there's a number of different montages to play with. Linked ears is the mother for basically all of those others, including a single references is converted to and compared to a normative database. Under the view menu, and you can um, uh, activate a, a, a display for event markers that you can manually uh, select. We'll show in a minute. Filters, derivatives, uh, the gut joint time frequency analysis that allows you to look at instantaneous power uh, in or, or um, color maps um, and uh, this allows you to close this to um, evaluate different things. Here's Z-scores, for example. You can export your selections and uh, evaluate the instantaneous moments. I'm going to go back to the um, dynamic FFT. And you can uh, look at different montages. Um, this case, uh, it's, you can go up to 85 different uh, selections for the 1010 system, but we also import up to 128 channels. Uh, under 
collection. You can do EEG biofeedback. We interface with a variety of different amplifiers. You can also do just playback of existing data, but you can also import in real time, control these, all of these amplifiers, and do neurofeedback. The neurofeedback selections are here. And uh, you can also do real-time neuronavigators, so it's a 12,700 voxel uh, a, a neural imaging program uh, that allows you to see in great detail the sources of the EEG. And all of this is covered under separate videos. Under analysis, we can use the uh, Key Institute Loretta and S Loretta uh, for absolute power, coherence, phase differences, phase shift to phase lock, uh, as well as the phase slope index. Cross-frequency coherence can be evaluated. Brain Surfer Network Viewer, that's really a brain-computer interface. Uh, source correlations, and you can export a Loretta Key Institute to tab to limited format. Can also uh, activate the Neuron Navigator, which I'll do in a minute. A brain Optimization Index is a tool to allow you to compare an individual to a peak performer. We took individuals that had 120 IQ and higher uh, as a reference, and you can compare the distance different networks have in the brain, uh, the attention network, the default network, the pain network, the uh, memory network, et cetera, with respect to this uh, peak performer group. And you can move people in of the direction of greater uh, efficiency in the brain. A concussion index is also available to evaluate, to allow one to look at mild, moderate, and severe traumatic brain injury with respect to uh, healthy, non-traumatized individuals to look at the networks in the brain and how they're affected by the severity of the uh, traumatic brain injury and track changes over time should there be treatment or whatever uh, you do as you repeat test. Uh, and uh, there's a lot of cross-frequency programs available for power correlation, cross-frequency coherence, phase amplitude coupling both with Z scores and raw scores, and then phase reset as well. And then power spectra of various types can be computed and saved, as well as a Gabor adaptive spectrogram. We can then make reports, clinic reports. You can open up the report panel here and select whatever you want. In this case, it's a one hertz standard bands and absolute power uh, with coherence phase. Uh, there's also um, a connectivity suite to look at things like phase shift duration, phase lock duration, uh, shift amplitude, and discriminative functions of various types, as well as a, a burst metrics, brain performance index. You can click default and save whatever you select here, or you can save special uh, selections, click OK, and then you're good to go. The uh, report also here allows you to create uh, an analyses with maps you save in the subjects folder, but you can also do an automatic clinic report, and report will produce in about one to two minutes. That's a Word document that allows you to um, uh, then um, fill in whatever you want. It's based on neuropsychology, the human brain mapping program, for linking patient symptoms to the patient's brain. It's a template that's a very powerful, useful template to make it uh, simpler to create a clinic report that usually takes 20 to 30 minutes or an hour to make, but you can get done in one or two minutes. Uh, we also have symptom checklist matches. You always want to do this to link patient symptoms to the patient's brain, particularly dis uh, dysregulation in different hubs and nodes. All of this is described in more detail individually when we go into different parts of NeuroGuide. You can also have a NeuroStat, uh, which allows you to do uh, group statistics at the surface, comparative st statistics with groups, as well as individual statistics. Uh, independent t-test, pair t-test, one-way analysis of variance. You can compare absolute differences, let's say, between pre- and post-treatment or percent difference changes. And similar with Loretta, you can do uh, uh, group analyses, individual analyses, descriptive statistics, comparative statistics, and group statistics. So you can evaluate large groups of people if you wish. They were maybe treated or not treated or have different symptomology. Or an individual that you track over uh, sessions. Uh, under options, there's the subject information. It's Right now, it's uh, not a lot in there because this is a demo, but you want to put in uh, comments, medication, a lot of information in here because all of that will be used in the automatic clinic report. And you also can, uh, can export your data to a subject database, back that database up, restore it from backup, 
That way you can keep track of your patients efficiently in a database and then default settings to allow you to always navigate to where you want to go efficiently, where say you want to go to the patient's folder or a, a particular folder that has all of your patient data, you can do that as well. And then um, uh, under analysis, we have, besides the Key Institute Loretta, we have the more advanced uh, Neuro Navigator. There'll be a complete uh, demo on the Neuro Navigator itself. This is the patient with the right parietal lobe damage, and we can get rid of the scalp and I'm, right now we're looking at the uh, network of the uh, attention network. And we can look at different networks with different symptoms, uh, autism spectrum disorder, default network, anxiety network, etc. And this is uh, available inside of NeuroGuide to launch. And there's a whole series of uh, demos to explain that in greater detail. So these are tools to link patient symptoms to the patient's brain and to then uh, create protocols for neurofeedback that allow you to then treat and other methods to uh, treat patients by first understanding the parts of the brain that are not uh, uh, working as well as they could and moving individuals in the direction towards a greater efficiency and stability in the networks. So thank you for watching this brief survey.